So today we'll discuss the basics of digital logic design, Boolean algebra as well as logic gates. Initially we'll go through the basics of digital logic design, and then uh, we'll move on to the Boolean algebra. So in these basics, we'll see what is a binary variable, and what are the operators that are used throughout this Boolean algebra, and how we represent a binary variable. So what is a binary variable? Actually, a variable can hold any value, but when it comes to a binary variable, it can hold only two elements. Either it might be zero, or else it might be one. If you take an example of a binary system where every quantity is represented only with two elements, either zero and one, so that is why the base of the binary system is two. In the same way, here a binary variable can only accept two values. It might be either zero, or else it might be either one. And throughout this uh, Boolean algebra, we are going to use three basic logical operators. Those are AND, OR, and NOT. So we'll discuss about these operators uh, in the later, and uh, and we represent every binary variable with alphabets. So we we can represent any binary variable only with the alphabets. They might be the uppercase letters, or else they might be the lowercase letters. Now, what is a function? A function is used for representing the relationship between the input and output. So, if it is a binary function where the input contains binary variables and the output expression also involves binary variables, if you can see here, f of variables equals expression, where variables are the binary variables which can hold only two elements, either zero or one. And here, expression involves uh, operators like plus, dot, and complement. For now, we call these operators as plus, dot, and complement, and we'll discuss wha what what are the terminology that we use throughout this Boolean algebra. And uh, it may also involve variables. It may also involve constants like zero and one, and then parentheses. Take an example here, where a function f of a comma b equals a complement dot b. Plus b complement, where the left hand side uh, within the parentheses a comma b, these are the binary variables. These are the binary input variables, and the right hand side within the expression a complement b and b complement are the binary variables, and dot and plus are the operators. Right. In the same way, if you take some one more example, g of x comma y comma z equals x dot of Y plus Z complement, where X, Y, and Z on the left hand side are the binary input variables, and uh, on the right hand side it is an expression which involves dot and plus operators along with complement operator, and then the variables as well as the groupings which are nothing but the parentheses. So this is how we represent uh, the relationship between the input variables as well as the output of that particular function. Now. These are what the basic logical operators that we use, and, or, and not. And this and and or operators are called as binary operators because these operators can operate on two variables. And if you take not operator, it is called as unary operator because it operates only on one variable. Let us see, f of a comma b equals a dot b, where dot is the symbol. Which is used for representing the AND operator. So from now onwards, we have to call this dot as AND. So it is uh, f of a comma b equals a AND b, and the output of this function is one only when a and b values are one. Okay, if any of the value which is present in a and b is zero, then the output is zero, right? And next is OR. G of a comma b equals a plus b, where plus is the symbol which is used for representing the operator or. So from now onwards, we have to call this as a or b, and the output of this function is one when both the operands are one, or else any of the operand is one. Okay, and if if both the operands are zero, then the output of the function is zero. Okay, and the third fu function for representing the Not operator h of a equals a complement, where this is the symbol which is used for representing the 
not operator and it is operated only on a single variable so that is why it is called as a unary operator and the output of this function is 1 when the value of a is 0 okay and the output of this function is 0 when the value of a is 1 so complement right now let us see the mathematical uh, mathematical comparison between these operators okay so one bit logic and resembles binary multiplication so here one bit logic and uh, reflects the binary multiplication where 0 and 0 is 0 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 and 1 and 1 is 1 so it exactly reflects the binary multiplication and if we take uh, logical or where it exactly represents the binary addition except one particular combination that is this combination so if you can see here 1 plus 1 in the binary addition is 2 but whereas whereas in uh, logic and with uh, in case of boolean algebra 1 plus 1 is nothing but 1 apart from that 0 plus 0 is 0 and uh, there is 0 or 1 is 1 and then 1 or 0 is 1 and then 1 or 1 is 1 Okay, so here binary and or as the logic and represents uh, binary multiplication and logic or reflects binary addition except one condition, right? Now, this is these are the truth tables for those operators. So, what is a truth table? Truth table, truth table represents the relationship between the input variables of a function and its output. Okay, so it, rep it is representing the relationship between the input as well as the output along with the possible combinations of input and their outputs. So, if you can see the truth table of the two input AND gate where A and B are the inputs and the function, output function that is F is equals output fun uh, expression is A dot B or A and B. Okay, and if we have two variables, two input variables, then the possible combinations that we get is 4. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and the output function is 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. As we have discussed, if A and B operands are 1, then only the output becomes 1. Okay. And in the same way, if you take a look uh, at the uh, two input OR gate, there you can see A and B are the input variables and uh, the output expression is A or B. So, again the four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and the output of this particular OR is 1 only when both the operands are 1 or else when any of the variable is 1. You can see here one variable is 1 here in this combination so the output is 1 and here also one variable is 1 so therefore the output is 1 and both the variables are 1 here therefore the output is again 1. But in the case when both the variables are 0 then the output is 0. Now, in the same way, as I told you that not or complement is only operated on one or one variable, therefore, there is only one input variable A and the output expression is A complement or else A not. Okay. So, here if A is 0, then the output expression is 1 and if A is 1, then the output expression is 0. Okay. Now, here truth table is giving us the relationship between the input as well as the output by using the possible combinations of the input right now let let a function f of depends on n variables how many rows are there in the truth table of function so the question here is assuming that one function one function contains totally n variables that is from a0 to assume that an okay then how many possible rows here indicates combinations how many possibilities, how many combinations that you are going to get. So, here the answer is 2 power n. Okay. If we, if we take the previous example where you have only two variables, where you have only two variables within the function. Okay. So, the answer or else the number of rows that we, that, that we get inside a two table is 2 power n, where n represents the number of input variables. Therefore, 2 power 2 is nothing but 4. So, 2 power n rows since there are 2 power n possible binary patterns or combinations for the n variables. Okay. So, here n is representing the number of input variables. If there are, for example, if there are 3 input variables, then 
the possible patterns or combinations that we get is as n equals to 3, so 2 power 3 is 8. Right. So this is how we represent the truth tables. Now logic gates. So logic gates are mainly used for realizing any electronic circuit. Okay. So logic gates are abstractions of electronic circuit, components that operate on one or more input signals to produce an output signal. So these are the gates which operate on one or more input variables or signals and they will produce one output signal. Okay. Now the operators that we have seen now is AND, OR and NOT and all these operators are represented with the gates in this fashion where you can see the symbol of the AND gate and uh, it is the gate which can accept more than one input and produces only one output and that, that output uh, function expression we have seen that that is F equals A and B. In the same way, this is the OR gate representation and it is also a gate which can accept more than one input and produces only one output and the expression, output expression for this OR gate is A or B. And NOT is the gate which can accept only one input and produces only one output and here the output expression is H equals A complement. So these are the three basic gates which we use for realizing any kind of electronic circuit. In the next session we will deal with Boolean algebra and its properties. Thank you.